In this section, we want to talk about skewness, which is a way of numerically measuring whether our distribution is symmetric or approximately symmetric, if it's left skewed, if it's right skewed. What's the, basically, what's the shape of our distribution? So whenever we construct histograms, or even dot plots, any of those numerical graphs, one of the characteristics we want to discuss is shape. So we also talked about center spread outliers. Um, but for right now, we just want to focus on that idea of the shape of our distribution, or the shape of that graph. So when we talk about shape, what we're wondering is, is our graph symmetric? Is our graph left skewed? Or is it right skewed? And below here, we've got Again, examples of each of those. So we have a symmetric distribution. So symmetric because if we look at the center of that distribution, we have more or less mirror images on either side. We have a left skewed distribution because the tail or those lower values head off to the left, and a right skewed distribution because the tail or where we have those lower values, the lower frequencies, are off to the right end of that distribution, or right end of that graph. So we can construct histograms, we can talk about shape, but we can run into some problems when we interpret shape based off histograms. And those include distinguishing skewed distributions from symmetric distributions. So up above are three examples are all fairly straightforward. It's easy to see symmetric versus left skewed, right skewed. But the question we get into with certain distributions is how skewed is skewed? So if it's close to being symmetric, if it gets a little bit further from being symmetric. So we can end up with distributions that aren't quite these clear cut answers. We can have sort of some in-between distributions. We also know that shape can be adjusted by changing the bin widths for your histogram. Sometimes that can result in very different pictures depending on whether you use very large, very small bin widths, or somewhere in between. And another problem is that small data sets can be hard to interpret, uh, especially if we're looking at histograms. If we consider this example below, this is a histogram depicting the number of mobile 3G subscribers in Eastern countries uh, from some data that was reported in 2011. What we don't see here that we typically see with histograms is sort of this staircase pattern as that either decreases to the right, decreases to the left, or increases and then decreases again. So because of the bin width that I chose here, and because of the relatively few number of data values, each of these bins has a frequency of one. So we could probably still classify this last value as an outlier, so this is kind of separate from the rest of our values, but it's hard to talk about what's happening with this shape. We don't really see anything happening, we just sort of have this flat, leveled out bars, each with just a frequency of one. So it's, it can be difficult to distinguish skewed from symmetric distributions. We can adjust shape by changing bin widths, and in examples like this when we have relatively small number of data values to consider, Looking at a histogram may not really give us the information we want or not easily give us that information to help us understand the shape of the distribution.